Why is my head square? My head is not square. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't want to play, so let's play somebody else. Or he's not. Wait, no, he is here. Uh, let's just go g3 and bishop g2, I guess. Actually, wait, I played the order on. I was supposed to go d4 first. Okay, let's go d3. I'm going to go h3. My, 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 my head is not a square. It's, it's round, but thank you. I think f4 is always right. And I think you go like bishop e3, queen d2, knight d1, knight f2, if I remember this correctly. Like queen d2, knight d1, knight f2, Boris Spassky of the former world champion used to always play this. Let's go knight d1. And I think you're supposed to go like knight c1 and then c3. I, I vaguely remember this. Karpov and Spassky used to play this a lot in the close ceiling. It looks very weird. You r rotate your knights, but you go c3 at the right moment and you and you kind of open up the uh you sort of kick the kick that pony out of town and eventually you build a big center. And I think d4 is supposed to be playable now because you just keep building your center basically. I don't know if d4 is right, but it's a move. Okay, I think I just go. Do I go rook e1 or rook f2? Oh. Oh, this could, oh, this could be a problem. Let's go here. I mean, I have e5 at some point, but this actually looks very bad. I missed knight b6, this whole idea. I can play e5 maybe. Yeah, let's just go e5. I guess I go queen f2 here. If knight e3, I just take. Actually, I can also take that. The music sounds muffled, really? Huh. I mean, he can obviously sack, but I take and go knight b3, and I hold everything. Okay, let's go here and takes. Oh, do I just blunder a4 now? Wait, I have knight c4, knight c6? Let's go here, knight e3, knight c6. Music does sound strange? Okay. Music does sound strange. Hmm. I could have also gone bishop d4, which was actually much better. So if he takes, I just take. If he moves the queen, I just take. Uh, takes. I think I'm just winning here because if he takes, I just take the bishop. um actually let's go here to hit the bishop and all the pawns again another right triangle by the way from minus three to plus 4.81 exactly sounds like there's some kind of weird equalizer i mean yeah i don't know what's going on um let's see i don't i don't think i have any filters no i've got no filters Anyway, whatever. I, I don't want to throw this game, so let me uh, let me focus. Give me one second. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's go here. I think I just go like queen a5 or knight e7 or something here. I don't remember how this goes exactly. 
Sounds like the mic's picking up instead of the direct cha channel. What's going on? Okay. Uh, is it is that is that better? Oh my gosh! Don't don't tell me that. Did that change it? Did that just change it, or not? No change. Okay. I'm just gonna castle here. I'm just gonna go here and hit the pawn on e4. And I think I can just take the pawn maybe. I don't know if this is right, but I'm gonna do it. I think I also just blundered meanwhile. Or did I know whatever case seven and something? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm definitely gonna have to play d5 next move because he's gonna go rookie one and some bishop g5. But if I have h6 and laterally hold, I should be fine. Mu the music is just a little quiet. Okay, I'll play around later. I I, I don't want to really mess around with it at the moment, but I'll, I'll play around a little bit later. I just go. Mm hmm. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but there is this little thing called coronavirus. There's this little thing called lockdown. So um, I'm sorry, you guys, but that kind of does not apply. <laughs> Music sounds fuzzy. I'll play. I'll play around in a second. Um, I think I should go G5 for sure here. Maybe just D3. Try to open up this diagonal. I have knight c6 too. I have knight f5 also maybe. Okay, let's drop back. Oh, bishop e5 is a great move. I didn't actually see that shoot. Okay, let's take. Let's go here. Hit the rook. Maybe queen c5. And I'm, I'm not casting today. No, I'm not. Uh, isn't this just winning knight of five? What? Qua? Go here. Okay, I'm just gonna play uh, knight d5 and c3 here. It's not even necessarily the best line, but it's playable with like rookie one. I think a3 is a move. I think I go bishop g5 next move. If takes, I just take. Will I play bullet today? I don't know. Like I said, maybe I should just play bullet so that you guys can either laugh at me or be like, oh yeah, he wasn't he wasn't just making an excuse about the mouse. Um, but I don't know which one I want to do because I actually don't think I'm insane. I actually think there's a slight issue with the mouse. So I kind of don't I don't want to play bullet because I'm like, if I play bullet and I'm not if I play bullet and I'm not insane, I lose a few games. I'm actually gonna be very angry regardless of, of being right. Like I'll be right, but I'll still be angry because I'll lose points. So it's like a mix. Also, big shout out to Daryl Morey, the uh, general manager of the Philadelphia 76ers. He is in chat. Hope he's doing well, having a good morning wherever he is um, in, in the U.S. Well, he must be in the U.S. because I assume they have pretty strict protocols these days. Um, let's go rook b1 and queen d2. Okay, I think I play h3. If knight c4, I just drop the bishop back to c1 to guard against the big threat on b2. 
He does it. Let's go back. Again, I guard against the threats. His pawn is a little bit touchy-feely here on h6 as well. Maybe it's very slightly weak. b3, knight a3, I think is what he wants. I can do it. I don't love it. Um, how do I do it? I think what I want to do is I want to bring this knight into play somehow. So I'm going to try to rotate this knight to d3 and put pressure on the pawns with the very funky two knights here. advice for duffers like me who are much better on long time controls i mean most people are better at long time controls i mean if you're newer to the game so it's actually not that strange i'm gonna go b3 here and bishop b2 i'm gonna fee on keto my bishop um i think actually if you're playing if you're playing slower control if you're used to playing slower controls and you want to play blitz though generally and you're an intermediate it's easier to pick to play set systems like not necessarily London specifically but like set systems where you can you can blitz out the first 10 to 15 moves I don't know if that really is is helpful but that's what I would say move my knight back maybe play f4 move this knight from e5 here I'm, I'm not even sure that that's really that helpful but I think you if, if like if you play broad openings which a lot of people do just to have fun and enjoy chess um i think one side wait 94 93 okay let's do it i don't know if this is right but let's do it i mean he has 93 but i can take and i, I don't know i feel like i get a long diagonal so yeah he does rook a rook rook there i can play f4 still actually why is this not oh but he's got 93 now stupid of me very stupid i'm still gonna take obviously um i can take here why did I do this actually I don't know why I did this I think I'm just gonna go here in h4 I'm gonna go for the, I, I basically I'm gonna ignore my king so I'm gonna trust that I can use my bishop and my knight to attack here I don't know if I can but I'm gonna go for it okay I think I just maybe I, I just take he's got no time either let's just let's go um maybe just here I'm definitely gonna try to take and take or something wait he just blundered I take with check and he loses the queen there we go we got the win big dubs big dubs big dubs let's do one more it plays e4 uh let's let's play the French or the Owens defense let's play the Owens but I think set systems are better for sure big game against the Rockets tonight yeah 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 yeah. oh oh it's is it's the, it's the uh, return game oh wow impressive good luck good luck to the uh, 76ers a knight sitting for free and not taking it the pony was doing nothing and I was materially behind so when you're behind in the game you got to attack you have to go all in you have to make your stand whether it's like whether it's like trying to attack whether you're trying to defend you have to make your stand when you're way behind in time Joel told me we, he will he will make sure we win <laughs> I feel like basketball actually I was thinking if I think about sports um are there sport do we have predictions not predictions sorry but um like guarantees in basketball the way that we do in other sports so I feel like I mean I know in hockey which is also a team sport there have been some guarantees football obviously some guarantees Babe Ruth you know the uh you know call, the the called home run shot for example but I don't feel like in basketball you have it to the same degree do you Even in rapid, I get better positions and blow at them with bad time management. Well, I mean, don't feel too bad. One of the one of the biggest streamers in the world, Felix Felix Longjaw, also known as XQC, he does the same thing. So you're in good company there. Wait, if I what's going on here? I take, he takes, I take. Okay, I don't like that. I think I'm just gonna take and maybe just take because if he takes takes knight b5 I get the juicer on e5 so he probably has to take and then I can just very calmly develop my pieces here the 90s were the uh were the bulls guarantee yeah let's go 97 maybe hit the pawn maybe knight c5 reasonable position here uh, my opponent has the two bishops which is a problem but I think I can I'm still safe kind of although he's got weird He's got some weird stuff coming up here so I do kind of need to be a little bit careful with how I play this maybe Knight c5 actually this looks good just get rid of the uh, get rid of the Bishop here and then go Knight f5 okay so I take 
obviously. I have knight of five. Oh, he's got queen f4, though. Then queen d7, g4, knight e7, I should be fine. Uh, this is actually kind of scary. Like, very scary, potentially. Guess I go here in king h8. I have to be very careful that I'm not getting, like, checkmated somehow. Very careful here. He's looking at bishop. He's looking at like bishop f6, but then I slide over and I'm okay. If I slide over and go f6, I'm fine. I have to be very careful with these big threats and this pawn and this bishop guarding the square. The better team beats the worst team in basketball, the highest rate in all pro sports. That's actually surprising because I feel like I read somewhere some time ago that I thought, um, I actually thought that football was was. I mean, I mean this from a betting perspective, but I could have sworn that I saw them say that football was actually like more predictable. I'm gonna go here. So that's actually interesting. Interesting. Because I could have sworn that in football they said they said football was, but that's actually that's I guess that's that makes it like chess, which is which is actually great. Uh I think I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna let him take. Hockey, I think hockey actually is probably one of the sports that has the highest parity, doesn't it? I actually thought hockey was like crazy high in parity. Based on what you see in the playoffs, because like in in playoff in playoff hockey, the seedings don't matter at all. In basketball, the seedings matter a lot. Because I feel like in hockey, when it, whenever I've watched playoffs, like it doesn't really matter what seed you are. You could be the number one seed or the number eight seed, but it makes no difference. And the number eight seed is just as likely to win as the number one seed, and that definitely is not true in basketball. Like, not even close to true. Um, what am I doing? Let's just go here. I got to move quicker. Okay, let's just delay. Actually, at some point, I should probably play G5, but I'm not sure when. Uh, let's just do it now. And go G5. Okay, now I was trying to do something over here. I think, actually, my bishop should be around on this side. Okay, let's just go here. Guard the pawn with my king. The king is an active piece. I think d4 is a move here. Let's go d4 and rook d8. Whoops. Okay, let's take. Okay, rook c7 is a dangerous move. I have to be very careful here. Maybe I just go... Rook c8. Probably, yeah, he goes rook c1. Let's go here. I mean, I'm trying to go rook d2. I should have gone a5 first. Tricky, very, very dangerous position for both sides. He does take. I kind of was hoping he wouldn't do that. Can I run with my king? For the memes or for the game? Let's go here. Actually, I, I should just play this technically. Let's go here. Thank you, Daryl Moore. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Okay, one second. I have to be very careful here. Let's go here. Now I, now I use my... What's that? I just take... And we get the dub. We got the big dub. Thank you to Daryl Morey for the uh, for the five gifted subs. All right, you guys. I'm gonna take a short break. Go use the restroom, and I will be uh, I'll be right back.